It is less than a month to the mid-autumn festival, when people savor mouth-watering mooncakes, admire lantern displays, and celebrate family reunions under a full moon. The Mid-Autumn Festival, which falls on September 29 this year, will be celebrated in several places across the island. Admission is free. The Chinatown Mid-Autumn Festival, themed a journey of love and celebration, will come to life with lanterns adorning the streets of Chinatown. The official light-up and opening ceremony will be at Krita Air Square on September 15 at 7 p.m. Following this, the street light-up will be from September 15 to October 14, 7 p.m. to midnight, in New Bridge Road, Eu Tong Sun Street, South Bridge Road, and Upper Cross Street. There will be a festive fair during this period from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. at the open space in front of People's Park Complex. Visitors can also catch stage performances at Krita Air Square on September 16 and 17, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. The Mid-Autumn Festival returns bigger and better at Gardens by the Bay from September 15 to October 1, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Themed Garden of Blooms, it will feature nine lantern sets, a mass lantern walk and free lantern giveaways on the first day from 7 p.m. Highlights include the Magpie Bridge, a lantern set which floats on water. Drawing inspiration from the love story of the Cowherd and Weaver Girl, the 20M wide and 8M tall set features 38 magpies forming a bridge with their wings to reunite the legendary lovers. There is also Pavilion, a lantern set that doubles up as a performance stage. Set against the backdrop of the super trees, musical dramas inspired by Chinese classics like The Butterfly Lovers and Wandering Swordsman are staged for visitors within the pavilion of this massive 17M wide and 9M tall set. Our Secret Garden Lantern Set showcases fantastical creatures designed by art DIS artists who are on the autism spectrum. Blooming in Dance, presented by the Embassy of the Republic of Korea features four types of Korean traditional dance. These lanterns are made from hanji, a form of traditional Korean paper. There is also a Thai-themed set of traditional lanner lanterns, presented in collaboration with the Royal Thai Embassy. SPH Media's Chinese Media Group is a partner for Mid-Autumn Festival at Gardens, by the Bay, along with official radio stations UFM 100.3 and 96.3 How FM, Lights, by the late 2023 at Jurong Lake Gardens. Organized by the National Parks Board, will feature 240 lanterns organized into nine sets, from September 16 to October 1, 7 p.m. to 11 p.m., at Jurong Lake Gardens. Four of these sets will be themed, Wildlife or the Sea which explores the diversity of the animal world. Another four, under the theme, Echoes of the Lion City, will explore the structures and activities that have characterized Singapore across different eras. A final set will take the form of lantern arches, which showcase the intricacy of orchids. The Singapore Chinese Cultural Center SCCC and the Singapore Chinese Orchestra are organizing the first Mid-Autumn Family Fund from September 29 to October 1 at SCCC and Singapore Conference Hall. Themed Modern Traditions, the 14 activities encourage families to celebrate mid-autumn traditions with a modern twist. Highlights include concerts and performances, guided lantern walks, food trucks, stargazing and an autumn fair with over 50 local and overseas vendors. Selected events are ticketed. There are also different freebies on different days. The Sun Yet Sun Nanyang Memorial Hall is organizing the Wan Ching Mid Autumn Festival 2023 from August 29 to October 1. Greeting visitors at its lawn are a pair of giant panda lanterns titled a Mid Autumn Portrait. It has also teamed up with various clan associations 
to present programs for visitors to learn more about the dialect cultures of the Chinese community. Highlights of the Wan Qing Mid Autumn Festival, open house, on September 23rd and 24th, from 10 a.m. to 6.30 p.m., include a Tiachu Cultural Trail, by the Tiachu Poet I.P. Huai Kwan, a Hokkien Song and Rhymes Workshop, by Singapore Hokkien, Huai Kwan, and a Parent Child Hokka Abacus Seed Making Workshop, by Nanyang Hokka Federation. Some events are ticketed.